Sooner or later, you're going to want or need to create a new user to have access to your WP admin, to your dashboard, to work on your site. Maybe you need to hire a designer, a developer, an SEO guru, and they're going to need to have access to the back end of your site. So what are you going to do? Well, what you're not going to do is give them your username and password, your credentials to access your site. That's a terrible idea. And you're never going to want to send them a password or their username over the internet. So how do you do that? Well, WordPress has a very special way, a very good way of doing it. First, you have to log into your site. So I am the site owner here, and I'm just saying slash WP-ADMIN. So that's good. And I'm going to log in. That's me, but at joyofcode.com. And log in over here. Great. I just want to check who is the user right now logged in. That's me. Okay. And I'm going to head on over to where it says users and look at all users. And I'm the only user. Okay. Well, I need to add a new user so that this person will have his own credentials. So add new. And there's not much you have to fill out. You have to Give the new user a username. Don't use the word admin. In this case, I'm just going to use his first name. Of course, I'm just making this up, George. I'm going to put in his email address. Now, I'm going to use one of my email addresses, bud at joyofwp.com. That sounds pretty good. Okay. Now, you don't have to put in the person's name, you know, right over here. Let's just get rid of that. It's not necessary. And don't do anything with the password because George is going to actually set his own password. So we're going to leave that alone. We're not going to copy and paste and send this to him. Nope, don't do any of that. Okay, leave this checked. Now we have to assign a role. And for that, we want him to make him an administrator. So he has full access to the back end, to all this stuff over here, because he's going to need to do it, let's say. So we're just going to give him administrator rights and add new. Now, we have to check our email. So in this case, an email would be going to me and to George, but it's actually going to both of us at the same time. And if I go over here, and here enough, sure enough, two emails came in. The first email over here is to George. We'll get back to that in a second. And this one is actually to me as the site owner that says there's just been a new user set up. So let's look at this one over here. So George needs to set his own credentials by clicking on this link. So before we do that, best thing to do is just to log out of the site. Let's log out of this site. Okay, and I'm going to, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna log out and George is going to set his own credentials. So George is at his computer and He's going to click on this link over here. He sees that his username is George. That's fine. And he's going to go to this page. Now, here is where he's going to set his password. Okay. And uh, in this case, we want him to use the strong password. So I'm going to copy this. And George is going to store it wherever he stores his passwords. And we're going to click Reset Password. That's fine. Save. And now we're going to log in as George. So George types his own username in. He puts his own password in. Okay. And we're going to log in as George. Oh, I guess I should click update. Okay. And I want to check right over here. And sure enough, that's George. Okay, the fictitious George. And I'm going to click out of here. And now for users, I'm going to go to all users. And there we are. Now this time, George is the one that's logged in, and I'm the other user. Okay? And that's great. So George can do whatever he wants to do with the site. Now, one other thing to show you. Let me log out as George and log back in as me. That shouldn't be too hard to do. Okay, and here's one of the reasons why you want to create a new user because let's say again you're the site owner and George 
was hired to do some work for you, or you only wanted to have access over a certain period of time and then remove his access. So now you're going to go over to users, all users, and we're going to click on George and we're going to delete George. And this is good if he created content, you know, let's say he created pages or whatever, but I, I'm going to just, and what I'm going to do is just select this over here and And now it's back to where it was before. George is no longer a user, no longer has access to my site. A perfect way of adding new users, controlling their access, and then deleting the user when they're done with the work that they're supposed to do.